In this repair video, we're going to be working on the Gigabyte 6900 XT graphics card. The customer actually mailed over two cards. He mailed over the Gigabyte 6900 XT 16 gigs, this one right here. And he also mailed the power color Red Devil Radeon RX 6800 XT 16 gigs. And the card is right here. Customer wrote, 6900 XT turns on but does not give an image. And the 6800 XT turns on but does not give an image. Same problem for both. And neither cards gives an image. Let's start working on the 6900 XT and see what's going on. Before we proceed with this video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. This month, PCBWay is holding a competition where a user submits their PCB design for a chance to win $1,500 cash plus $200 in coupons that can be used on the PCBWay website. If you have a good PCB idea, click on the link below to sign up and make sure to check them out. The first thing I'm going to start with is measuring for a short at the 12 volt lines right here. We have two of them because we have two connectors, 12 volts and 12 volts. It does not make sense to troubleshoot any other part of the video card if we have a short circuit on the 12 volt line. We are reading 0 0.47 voltage drop and that's good. And if we measure this one, we have 0 0.47 voltage drop. That's good. I just want to quickly measure to see if we have a short circuit at this 12 volt line and 3.3 volts. We are reading 0 0.45 voltage drop, so we do not have a short circuit anywhere. Components are a bit discolored, but that's normal. Let's do a quick visual inspection on that board. Sometimes we are able to figure out problems by just doing a quick visual inspection. Maybe a component is blown or a component is ripped off or a component is discolored. Or maybe we have corrosion from liquid damage. Or maybe we have issues with liquid metal. Just quick measurements while we are moving. It does not hurt to test those zero components. Zero ohm resistor. We have one here as well. We have one here as well. especially down on the bottom. A lot of times we see components being knocked off from the bottom side next to the slot area. I mean, the card looks good. I do not see anything obvious. When I'm doing visual inspection, I'm checking for missing components, ripped off components, stuff like that. Like this one here, it says Q202, but this looks factory. It does not look like a component was ripped off from those pads. Same here, that's factory soldering. Yeah. Beautiful. I do see some corrosion here. We do not have a short. And we do not have a short. So nothing to worry about in this area. We can clean the corrosion, no problem. 
but we do not have a short circuit that we need to work on. Just a little bit of isopropyl brush. That's an anti-static brush. And if you look here, that's a Northridge Fix brush. I've been using this very same brush for the past <laughs> six months, seven months, and very good quality brush. And on the other end of the brush, we have fine steel. I use this if I want to remove hard to remove residue off a board. Like you see how we still have some green stuff here. Okay, you see how I was able to get rid of it. Very handy, very useful. So we have a not so hard brush here, not too soft and not too hard. And we have fine steel here and fine steel is not going to damage your components. But I would be careful, do not press too hard, depending on the scenario. If you do not already have this brush, log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, and you can get one from there. We carry and sell all the tools, soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, power supplies, flux, everything. Whatever you need, you can purchase off our site. All items are in stock and we almost always ship out same day. Just in case you did not know. Flip the board. And let's go over the back, make sure everything is good. Focus the camera with this amazing microscope that we also carry and sell on our shop. One of the best microscopes in the market. And we have the red version now, the Northridge Fix red scope. You're not going to find a better quality microscope out there. We tried a lot. And this one is absolutely the best scope in the market. We do not have corrosion anywhere on this side of the board, and the board looks mint. It looks perfect. No signs of trouble anywhere. And I want to check on the components down on the bottom. Like I said, those components are very fragile. They can rip off easy and they are located down at the slot. That's where you plug in the cart. Many times we find them loose or ripped off. Oh, look at this. You see it? Do you see what I see? Look at this component. It looks like that component is ripped off along with the pad. Let me just quickly go over the rest of the board and we'll come back to that component. Any one of the data line capacitors on the bottom can cause a black screen. See why visual inspection is important? Right, and we are done with visual inspection. The only thing I see wrong, this guy right here. Let's zoom in. So it looks like we may have two ripped 
pads. Top and bottom. I'm going to apply some flux. Maybe we can go over this component and see if we can connect that component with the pads. We do not know if the pads are ripped off the board or not, but one way to find out. And that component is not solid. So it's very likely that we have a ripped pad or a loose pad. A loose pad is okay, but not a torn pad. Okay, so we got that component solid again, but we have to measure. Solid is not enough. We have to measure. Now, I just want to measure if this is connecting with this. And the answer is yes. And what about this? Yes. So we know the pad is making a connection because we are measuring a continuous path from here to right here. Great. So we know this pad is good. And now we need to measure from here all the way down to the PCIe slot. So if we go here like this, right there, we are done. Let me clean up and maybe we can secure this component with some solder mask so it does not rip off again. We just have to be gentle. I do not want to scrape left and right because we're going to end up ripping that component. The pads are weak. But like I said, weak pads are okay. As long as the pads are not ripped, weak pads are okay. And we're going to brush in between those components. And the reason I'm brushing, I want to clean so we can apply solder mask. You do not want to apply solder mask on top of a flux residue. The mask is not going to hold. So we want to clean as best as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as best as possible. I'm using Kimtech wipes. You can also find those on our site. And the board is back like new. I want to measure one more time before we apply solder mask. Let's measure from here. Very nice. And let's measure from here. Very nice. Let's apply solder mask. We're going to cure it. And then we'll test. And now we're going to use our 10 watt equivalent UV lamp. And I really should not expose you to UV light. So you do not get a 10. You know what I'm talking about. What if UV penetrated your monitor and gave you a sunburn or damaged your eyes, right? That's what one of the viewers said in the comments long time. And I keep going over it. I know it's getting old, but it became a meme on this channel. So right now I have the UV light on the board right here. UV is going to shut off by itself. And what I love about this UV light is all metal built, high quality, and the cup covers the board. So very little light is lost. All the light is focused on that part of the board. And I think we should be good. We're going to apply just a tiny bit of hot air. Done. Now all we have to do is test and hope for the best. Plug in the cord right here. I do not know if we have to have the heat sink and fan on the cord in order for that cord to work, but let's go ahead and try it like this. It's only going to be for a few seconds just to see if we got an image on the screen. 
and then Big Boss will do rest of the testing. All right, and just because I'm optimistic, let's plug in the HDMI cable. Right here, card is plugged in. We have two power cables plugged in on the top, 12 volts and 12 volts. And let's see, let's move the camera right here and we are interested in this monitor on top. One, two, and three. The power supply is on. And are we going to get anything on the monitor, the top one? Yes, we got it right here. We got it. We got an image. And we did it. We did it. Before, I did not get an image. Now we are getting an image. That's awesome. Turn off the power supply. Big Boss will reassemble and he will test the video card more thoroughly. But for now, the card is fixed and we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video. Maybe we'll do the other card.